So guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still working on industrial electronics and two. Uh, on the continuation from the question paper that we have been working on August 2021, uh, now on question number four. So we are not going to waste much time. We're just going to quickly rush through the questions and see what we are actually given. Uh, so without wasting much time, we have got uh, the question 4.1, where we are being given to explain the operating principle of a photodiode technology. We are referring to a photodiode. What is the operating principle? All right, so like I said, we do not want to waste much time. We are going to quickly rush through the solutions and see what we are given for a photodiode. So actually, uh, a photodiode is uh, something of this nature. Let me just have, remember, we have got uh, the light emitting diode. We also have the photodiode. These two, they are just uh, one and the same. They are just different that. A photodiode is going to, is taking in uh, the light like this. So we've got our photodiode. Uh, so that is what we have. But here we actually have the principle, the operating principle. Okay, a photodiode operates under a reverse bias condition. That is the first part that you're supposed to mention there. It operates under a reverse bias. When light falls on the reverse biased PN junction, which is the photodiode, the leakage current increases as the light intensity increases further the leakage current increases and the diode becomes more conductive so as you can see guys how it operates when the photodiode uh, pn junction is not exposed to end light a small current termed dark current will flow when it is not subjected to any light then we shall have what we call uh, the dark current so that is what we are having there. Uh, let's see the other part, which is the 4.2. We are given also show the operating principle in question 4.1 by means of drawing. Now they want you to draw that principle. Okay, so we shall have the drawing. Uh, that is what we have. Uh, remember, we, we say this is our, uh, our, our photodiode and it is going in a reverse bias manner. So the negative is going to be connected to the positive here, of the, which is the anode. The positive is going to be connected uh, to the negative, which is the cathode. That is a reverse, a reverse bias connection. So that is uh, the second diagram, just like this, guys. That is what they needed you to have. So I think it's clear uh, enough. We shall move on to 4.3. Complete the following sentence by writing only the missing words, word or words, in the answer book, a light dependent resistor is also known as a. What can we give to a light uh, a dependent resistor? What is the other way that we can actually have? Okay, so uh, it can be referred to as a photoconductive uh, cell or a photoresistor. So that is any of these, you can actually obtain the full marks for just writing uh, any of these two. That is what we have. Uh, for that, as you can see, guys, it was quick, uh, simply uh, straightforward. Okay, the 4.4, we are now asked to draw a circuit symbol for a light-dependent resistor. So like I said, a light-dependent resistor is just, uh, this one is a light-dependent, not the LED. All right, sorry for that. I, I actually wanted to confuse you here. It's not like that. So that's a light-dependent resistor. This one is just the same way like what we had on a photodiode uh it is it was actually taking in uh this one is a diode then a light dependent resistor is taking in but here make sure that this is a resistor take note so you can have a symbol like this still is one and the same thing that you can actually have still if uh, it's a photo uh resistor that we have uh on this one it's one and the same thing which is the light dependent resistor all right 4.5, draw the construction that, take note, we need the construction, that is the first thing, the second symbol, and the characteristic curve of a light emitting diode, that LED that we talked about earlier. So we need three things here. So we shall have our answer in this manner. So the first is the symbol, that is the second symbol that we have uh, of an LED that is a uh, light emitting that so as we can see it's emitting light so anode and cathode then the construction that is the construction part that we have here then the characteristic 
uh, curve that we is the one that we are having at the end, not forgetting to mention the voltage and the current. All right, so these three, we're actually going to give you six marks as a consideration from this question. So that's how actually the questions on industrial electronics, uh, most of them they are, and uh, most of these questions they do repeat now and again. So it needs you to be very, very familiar with the questions by revising as much question papers as you can. So that's it guys from Amazon African Motives, working on industrial electronics and two till we meet again.